Hello everyone and welcome back to some heavy rain. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. So welcome back to heavy rain, y'all. My magical goggles. That's some fucking so cool shit, man. <laughs> That's some cool shit right there. Guess I uh, guess I better cut that shit out. Am I gonna grab a ball again? Hell yeah. Confuses the oh, there you go. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain, Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day. Ah. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake? Yes. Yeah, we met this morning. Hmm. Indeed, we did. Methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers. Jesus. What do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out, and the press get onto Jesus. it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it—it's none of my business. No, oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. <laughs> That's so. Not bad. You're welcome. Don't know why you untied oh, it in the go first see place. Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Nope. I don't give a shit about no politics. Freaking Jaden do what Jaden do. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. <laughs> it optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Perry? <laughs> Fucking his name is Perry? Hell yeah.
I mean, yeah, I may as well throw in five dollars. I'm a free, I'm an FBI agent. I make enough money. Oh my god, this is decrepit. This, this is my office. That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Well, at least you're nice. Yeah, it's just quite decrepit and dark, and I haven't got a lot to work with, and I have I? Okay, time to work. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. What the fuck is he doing? Now I gotta put my glasses on, I see. Step one. Change the office. Huh. Damn, I'm on Mars. Hell yeah. Now this is lovely. That is perfect. I love that. Clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. Analyze. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Geo analysis. Damn. Let's take a look at these tire tracks. Chevrolet Malibu eighty three. Huh. Okay, so I had no data for a geo. So I assume if I get a geo analysis thing, it'll tell me. Origami figures. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Although. We already buy or even grow these orchids. Common species. That doesn't help much. Huh. Files. Don't know what a modus operandi is. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs huh. of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Huh. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Is this guy sounds like he's from New Jersey? Killer has a 
has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Now, this won't make huh. the profiling any easier. Huh. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Take a look at this um, modus operandi. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims hmm. have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Huh. Not a single lead to go on. Let's analyze, shall we? Ooh, a pie chart. Killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Hmm. Damn. Rip. Yeah, I don't have a lot to go on. We got an area where he drops dead people, but that's about it. Whoa. Here we go again. I gotta go wash my face. Oh God. I need to take some. I'm insane if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. You can do this, Jaden. You got this, man. Trip. That's drugs. Don't do that. Is everything all right, sir? No one. No one will see. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, so we got a drug addict, uh, FBI agent. Holy crap. Didn't see that one coming. Huh. Oh, that's Ethan. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Four fifteen. 
Yeah, that's it, 415. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? Damn it. He was wearing a coat. It was beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. They were freaking gross. Motherfucker! How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school. Yeah. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive. Yeah, child. I'm not. I'm just. I mean, I may as well try not to lie. Has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off, and I'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Shit. My little wife, he's gonna murder me. And this drug addict's asking me questions. Gonna keep looking through the night. Do they do they think it's the origami killer? It, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child? Oh my God! Mark? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Sorry. That's exactly what you meant to fucking say. Don't you even pull that shit on me? That's precisely what you wanted to say. Ethan, you twat, say something. Do something, numb nuts. Don't just sit there and watch your wife cry in the middle of a fucking police station. Do something. Do something, you clown. No, it's it. You clown, you should do something. Come on. Oh shit, we're playing as your boy Shelby again. Big boy Shelby. Tuesday. Or am I playing a Shelby? Am I playing as this guy? No, I am. It's, I most certainly am. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim. 
a 10-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, please, to move along, sir. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Fine. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks, Thanks man. Then he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. There we go. Perfect. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? No, are don't walk through the fucking chips, man. No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? Shit. You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ, goddamn idiot! Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. Fuck! You. Come here. I said, come here now. Don't move. Hands up. Put your fucking hands up, or I'll shoot. Don't panic, let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Nice to meet you. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name's Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? You haven't done anything serious yet. If you put the gun away, you'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man. What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down, and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And no, no, you're not. You're not. You're, you're not doing that. No, not, not that shit, sweetie. I'm the fucking quick time king, bitch. And you owe me an apology, dickhead. Give me all your infertainment. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I?
Let's open it up and see what we got here. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby, I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. You're welcome. I can see now that I was wrong. Are they just gonna leave that guy on the fucking floor or what? <laughs> I mean, for real though. Oh, my plan is grace now. Suppose I am. Hmm. <gasps> There's someone else, maybe. Yeah, this is someone else, I think. Actually, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, that's actually all the time we have for this video. I thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see all you in the next video. Bye-bye. And have a nice day.